Well guys, we have ourselves a bit of a uh, repair video here. Another one of the bicycle videos in a kind of a line of bicycle videos if you will. Uh, you may remember this uh, video or this bicycle from uh, the spring when I did the reset retail assembly rant video and uh, you know once over on a brand new bike type uh, video. Well the um, the owner of this bike was riding it one day and basically they uh, drove or over shifted and uh, drove the derailleur into the spokes of the bike. Basically when that happens the derailleur catches the spoke and uh, it can be quite violent. In this case it wasn't violent, uh, it was actually fairly reasonable. I've seen it in such cases as the derailleur catches the spokes uh, wraps itself around the frame, ends up tearing out spokes in the back rim, which creates uh, quite a mess. And uh, really, it doubles or triples the repair bill. Well, of course, this uh, the owner of the bike uh, got his own parts. He bought another set of uh, twist shift or grip shift, uh, a little bit lower end than what uh, was originally spec'd on the bike, as well as he's bought a new derailleur too. which is uh, pretty close to being the same as what's on there. Um, slightly, slightly different line, different level, different year, but uh, it'll all uh, work out the same. So basically the first thing we need to do is uh, uh, release tension on the system, uh, take off the bottom um, cog here, sliding the chain out of the derailleur. Uh, once that's done, we can pretty much slap the new derailleur in there, hook everything back up, and then we got to run the uh, grip shift. And I'm hoping the cable's long enough for uh, this frame style. So yeah, we'll uh, get at her and uh, see what we get. Well guys, here we go. Got the uh, old derailleur removed. Basically, um, as you've seen in my previous videos, I've showed how to, how to do this. Um, once she's removed, I gave the area a wipe down, um, eyeing up the little, uh, I call it an ear here, or derailleur hanger, whatever. The old style, or the cheaper style um, of frame, used to take um, a derailleur with a hanger similar to this, right? And the better style frame has hangers, derailleur hangers like that. And the really, really good ones actually have the hanger so it's removable. Unfortunately, I don't have one of those out here to show you. But, um, you know, they are real. They do exist. But uh, when you are repairing damage um, like this, you want to uh, make sure the derailleur didn't do much or any damage to the wheel itself. The easiest way to do that is basically to give it a spin and to sight it on the brake pads here on the brakes if it touches the pads and obviously it's bent you know um, if the wobble is great then uh, you're gonna have to get it trued or straightened before you put it back on the road as well as you know look for obvious signs of bent or damaged uh, sp spokes like broken spokes and and stuff like that <clears throat> Of course, now if you weren't confident on your part source, uh, you should probably check your parts before tearing um, the bike apart to make sure they're the same derailleur, the same, uh, you know, everything that'll drop right in. Of course, this is the original one and uh, this is the new one. They are a um, similar, they are the same brand and they are a similar model, just different years. They have a lot of the, the cable, um, guide and the you know the ferrule and all that is all in the same uh, location on both of them so it should be uh, virtually a direct bolt up of course the cogs here the little uh, wheels sometimes they're a smaller size on the replacement derailleur which then actually will throw the chain size out by like one link or so which of course doesn't sound like a lot but when you're dealing with a small precision moving parts uh, one link can mean uh, difference between working or not. So we'll uh, drop the new derailleur in here, give it a uh, 
a pre-adjust and uh, then we'll start working on the handlebar there. Well guys, um, got the derailleur on. Um, it was close to being a direct fit or direct bolt-on. Um, if you notice here, the bolt here is uh, aluminum or silver instead of being the black. Well, of course, the uh, bolt that uh, came with it, if you notice here, the threads are not too healthy. And um, my bolt that was on the original uh, derailleur, um, if you notice here, the ear, the ear on the derailleur is a little bit thicker. So of course that shoulder uh, would, not, um, would not work. So I had to dig around, of course, in my parts bin and uh, find a spare bolt that would work in there. And she goes in there, tightens up fine. And of course, I went to go and uh, put the chain through. And uh, if you notice here, this cog here has these little um, end caps and a little bushing where this one here, um, the bushing is pressed inside and it doesn't have the end caps. Basically, um, there's a difference there in uh, level of derailleur. What we got here is a better one here. And uh, it's being replaced with one that's uh, of comparable quality, just a little bit, um, little bit less, you know. No real big uh, differences there, real, really, really big deal that you can't overcome. Uh, when you are changing it, don't want to lose any of those little plast or a little cheap uh, metal um, spacers or shims because then it won't uh, function correctly. So yeah, just thought I'd show you the differences there and uh, see how she goes. Okay guys, here we are again. The uh, temperature has cooled down. <clears throat> um, still of course working with the, uh, the hand. As you've seen there earlier, I'm sure by now you've noticed the uh, tensor band-aid and the rubber glove. I had to take off the rubber glove because, well, it kept getting caught in places that it shouldn't. Well, I try to use the uh, twist shift uh, provided by the customer, however, um, it wouldn't, I couldn't make it work. Uh, I had to reuse the old uh, derailleur cable because the new ones were too short. And um, pretty much right now I'm ready to set the, uh, the derailleur, the limit screws, to make sure it doesn't drop off the inside edge. And then I'll hook up the uh, cable and then set the uh, um, inner limit screws to make sure it doesn't jump off the inner edge. And then of course give her a once over and make sure everything is good. So we'll get at her and uh, keep on rolling. Well guys, got the shifting adjusted, um, took a little bit of uh, fine tuning to get her. I can't pull the cable as tight as I normally did, used to because of my hand, but I believe I've got her now. I'm going to uh, afterwards take the bike for a test drive. <clears throat> Before I release it back to the owner, I'm going to install this uh, derailleur protector uh, right here on these two bolts just to keep it, so just in case he does lay the bike over again, um, it doesn't uh, damage the derailleur because there is a scuff mark in the old one where it's been either up against a curb or laid over or, you know, if it was me uh, riding this bike and I did the kind of damage that was done, I would say I smacked it on a rock. <laughs> but given the style of bike and the rider that was riding it, it probably was nowhere near any good size rocks that could do that kind of damage. But guys, yeah, we'll um, undo those two bolts and uh, then we'll slip this bracket uh, in place. Well guys, here we go. Got her all back together. As you see uh, right here in the corner, I installed the derailleur guard. Hopefully it uh, will save the derailleur from a good beating or two. Uh, got everything put back together, got the seat back on, got her adjusted. And I even took her for a ride, um, figuring maybe the shift changes when uh, there's weight on the frame, you know, enough uh, frame flex or something. But it seemed to work fine, so I think she's uh, good to roll back to its uh, owner. So yeah, guys, just a little bit of a video on swapping out a derailleur and uh, a little bit of maintenance. I know I didn't really show the technical side of it, but... Uh, if you go back and look in my other videos, you will see the technical side of uh, swapping out derailleurs and adjusting the shifting. 
So as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.